Welcome back to The Devil in Detail, the Grendel Reread Podcast. I'm Eli. And I'm Ben, and Eli, it's our 110th episode with this little mini ep. It's the third chapter of Devil, what's this book called? Devil's Quest? It's Devil's Quest. With tactics with the, with the Session Twins. Wow, wow. Yes, all right. Since it's just a mini episode, let's just like get right into it. No waste, no maste. No want. Here we go. Two in the box, ready to go. Fast and heavy slow. Yeah. Yeah. Divat Rendo. It's like the devil is my best friend. Hunter rose with the pen to the fork end. Or to time end. Like Orion. Jupiter, my kin, bloodline private. Control the whole shit. The wolf won't beef, then we feast off the rip. Behold the devil in detail. Behold the devil in detail. Alrighty, we are back. The devil in detail, and we are getting to into incisionary tactics. The tale of the torture tale of the twins session. The twin session. So they uh they appear in the uh, hallucination dream in what's this book called? Behold the Devil. That's Remember right. Hunter Rose has the like the the vision of the rest of the series for like 12, 12 pages in a row. So they 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 appear with the Hitchcocks in oh. uh, in that yeah with a bunch of other characters from Grendel Tales. Oh, interesting! I forgot about that. So this is this is the main session twins story. God, they're scary. They're scary and they torture yeah. well. They're built for torture it seems. Yeah, really cool. This um <laughs> so uh I have to admit that the lettering in this story uh is it hurts my eyes and, and hurts my head when I read the the really smallest one. So I actually I've read this story maybe three or four times just to make sure I, I understand what I think is going on. But there are some parts of it that I, I actually can't read because it gives me pain. But it's a story about torture. <laughs> so I will generously say that... Uh, it that, tortured that you. It one, of, one of the best <laughs> comics I've ever read in that, <laughs> in that regard. In that it extends the torture to its reader. Yeah, I wonder it, if it's... It's, a, it's really wild. It's something that went from the hardback to the softback, or it was like a degradation of the print from the issue to the hardback to the softback or something like that's that. That's a really weird font, because if you look at the the word, the Dr. Creech, the big one that's behind the title, mm-hmm. you can see that it's got, it's got like um, uh, dot, de- it's yeah. degraded with dots. So it's like, right. a, it's, it's like a. A digital it's like a johnny mnemonic font it's all yeah. glitched out yeah. yeah so it's it's degraded degrade deg- degraded degraded anyway degraded. and and so then the smaller it shrinks the harder it is to read but you know it doesn't torture me so that's why i'm thinking maybe there's a little bit of an issue between the, the hardback and the soft maybe back. there's something i think there's something wrong with me oh um, do you wear glasses at all or no i no, not really oh, but um okay. This this layout with the spiral coming out of unconsciousness yeah, is it's really cool. magnificent. Yep, this one's with us again. And it's, you know, what I feel like is it it's not Dr. Creech that's they're torturing. It's, no, it's Joshua Michael, Raddick. Joshua it's, Raddick, yeah, yeah. It's Joshua Raddick, the lab assistant and lover of Dr. Creech. Right. And um we sort of go in and out of Josh, Joshua Raddick's memories and the information that he's maybe considering giving up or that he's already given up or whatever. He's He's been uh, tortured into delirium and the Session Twins have rounded up everyone that they can, a bunch of people, and uh, they're, they're looking for Grendel Prime and the way to do it is by finding Dr. Creech. Yes, and they are torturing and uh smashing people in the face with whips and and truly enjoying the torturing yeah the the camera is uh always pov of joshua raddick Mm -hmm. and matt does really interesting things with staging getting characters in the foreground and background and like racking focus between the two planes oh yeah it's 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 
it, it's a very, very effective story. And so very all the typing story. is like his speech. That's his speech bubbles or whatever, the typing. I, yeah, I thought yeah, at some points, right. yeah. So at some points it, it got to me like, okay, maybe they're listening to like a recording or they're like playing a recording or something like that. But no, that's like. I, know, I, th- I think it's his memories. It's yeah. the dialogue. It's It's his memories of the information that they're trying to get. And it's I, the the sequence is tricky. Doctor Creech, uh, and Granville Prime hook up because Doctor Creech has is doing something scientific that will help Prime's quest, and we can't tell you what that is because it's two issues down the road. Right, it's the Devil's Quest. One thing I really like about this uh, the the intro, all this text that I that I complained about that I, I loved. Is that he talks about uh, his PhD in cyber medical research from the University of Mexico, Mm -hmm. and I love I love the idea like um, uh, like Coach Anderson's story takes place on a college campus also, but it's in the future. So I I love being reminded that like institutions still exist even though like you can like there's Sin City like hell holes. Yeah, like all over the place, like you know. Yeah, we're never really introduced to these locations of like prosperous, of prosperity, you know, or like as the as the tales go on. You know, what's a good one for that is Four Devils, One Hell. I think because it takes place in a. I mean, they all take place in specific locations, but it like the character of New Orleans is the character in the story. Yeah, you know, in in, in its way, Um, and so we can, you know, you we are like in like French Quarter Mardi Gras parades and it, it, there are like anchors of like, oh, this actually This is actually life. okay, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. Okay. We're all right. So the second page of this is where we really see the sessions begin their torture. And and we see the point of view take place. And they're really like you get a setup of, you know, your characters are introduced. We see there's two, they're dressed differently. The one is fully clad in this like green uh you know plaid uh maybe like it's scottish almost yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah with Full with a very thing. cool they have their super cool logo that is also their eye designs are exactly the same is there a cover with them on it or am i i think i'm i think there's a homecoming cover where susan is like flexing out and she looks kind of like this yeah, and Brennan yeah, recently she... did a very, very cool pinup too. I don't know if maybe that's like oh, coming into your head. Maybe that that might be it. Yeah, I really like. So I don't remember that it's Brilla and something else, but the one with the like the kilt on, um, there's like a there's like a a ball and chain. There's like a a spiked ball on the end of her ponytail. Oh yeah, that's oh, my that's, that's right. my favorite. That's my favorite piece of. The, I mean, one of my favorite pieces of design with these characters. The, like I mean, again, we we I can't say it enough, and I'll say it every issue this time, every story. Just the the painting that Matt has done yeah. here on each of these pages is is glorious, second to none, absolutely amazing. This is a glorious, glorious comic. I wanna I wanna make a. I just noticed something, which is that um this this woman in the background, the one with the whip, whether it's Brillo or the other one. Mm-hmm. Uh, is wearing bike shorts that are exactly the same as the ones that Martin Rakeshaw is oh, yeah. wearing That's when right. he arrives. <laughs> they're they're like Grendel issue. They're from the they must be from the Imperial Court. <laughs> from the target, the Grendel target. And you know, okay, so they're just like my face. All right, and then we start getting a little bit of story here, like Michael. Oh yes, I love you. Your red nipples. So we start to see here that. You know, these relationships are a little more than just professional that they're trying to help, you know, the help this guy remember and tell us about. Yeah. And um, And, like the sensual text and then she's licking the blood off of her, you know, cat nine tails or whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, man. Finger, too. You know, she's like drawing blood and then they're like licking it and enjoying it. These women are insane. I like you. You pull back and you pull pull back to reveal the other one in the foreground, but she's not in focus. And so, the strategies that Matt takes to sort of to rack that focus between panels yeah. two and four are really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, on yeah. the next page here, it begins with a swift something to the face. 
And yeah. and we get some more text. Dr. Creech, good morning. Good morning, Natasha. These are like conversations in his head that I think are being played back. You know, we've got work to do. And they're talking about, you know, Michael, she changes the sheets. For God's sakes. Because they said, oh, that's not what your, um, you know, Natasha, your, your uh, uh, nurse said or your maid said. And he's like, no, you wouldn't leave her alone or something like that on the previous I can't page. Read, I, I can't read any of it. So oh. it's all. It's all news to me that that's what's happening. In the story. <laughs> oh, and then he's uh, like, "This is the this is the big reveal of the cyborg hand, though. That's like the oh that's the God. reason for the page." Yeah, it's so cool. It, it looks so good. Yeah, like it just creeps out from behind the thing. <laughs> uh, and then on the next page, she's like, Fussing! you know, and you see this gloriously rendered uh, uh, hand, and she's like, she's like, "If you're lying, you know, she's they're trying to get the information out of her." Why did Grendel yep. Prime seek out your companion? We know Dr. Creech was into some radical theories. Boom. And she's like, oh, you won't tell us? Oh, my little fetus. And then she kind of, and then this is something that you had mentioned to me yesterday that you were, or the other day that you were into, where she comes and just, you know, it's perfectly like, like reaches the hand towards the, the, you know, the screen, the viewer, and just completely blocks off any and all light and it goes dark again. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah, the composition with the knuckle of her thumb right above her eye. That looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, all right, Maggie, I guess, is the other one. So it's Maggie and uh, Brillo. Yeah. And they continue. You're just a fucking pile of circuits. And she's like, all right, look. Again, like as we were saying, the torture just continues and raises, and um, she bites off his goddamn nose. Yeah, I wish I had a photo of Mister Nose, the little weird novelty doll that my brother-in-law had for his, his whole life. But I texted them, and they said that they lost Mister Nose, but it looked exactly like this. It was like wow. a nose in that shape with feet and a little little wig and a hat. Oh, funny. that's amazing. Maybe that's where Matt got it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe there's a 70s novelty toy made Mr. Nose. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's there's a, some part in here. I don't know where it is. I, I, I sort of lose track of this this whole story. Where like they're beating someone in the background. Is that I don't know. Yeah, they've got other people here. They got the they got the maid here, they got the all whoever they yeah. can round up, they've got. Oh, and a few pages back we forgot they like scalped him fully, like cut his scalp yeah. off and Oh my God! Yes, this is insane. I feel like we lost the trip, the storyline, but it's, they're they're basically I can't I can't read it. <laughs> I literally can't read it. It's well, they're I, they're they're pressing this guy Michael for information about Doctor Creech, and they're trying to like torture, no, reveal yeah, secrets. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like the sequence of events that happened in his memories. It's like the at the very end their relationship is broken because Dr. Creech's allegiance is to the paladin. Right. To the paladin. Exactly. Something like that. It's something like that. I don't know. And he, and he's calling in the, the um, secretary is like, Dr. Creech is unavailable at this time. And, and yeah. you know, he's like strung out. He's like, please. So there's this kind of like unrequited, like lustful love story that, you know, ends in heartbreak. Seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean the the visuals are so much more interesting than the Ill, illegible text. Yeah. So like these parts where he's blacking out at the end and his vision is blurring and their names like wet on wet, you know, glaze and you know, out of focus with the splatters. That's far more interesting to me than uh, the experimental text. Yeah, I think they're trying to like rip his arm off or something too at the end. <laughs> They're like I, I think that's so i think that might be someone else like he's watching yeah. them do that while he's like kind of like nodding out forever yeah all right yeah, cool they multiple, well they got multiple victims yeah the session twins are are gonna pop up later on down the road these are some of the most indelible interesting crazy wild characters that matt creates during this grendel sequence and man i wish we could get more of them too What do you think, Ben? I just Agreed. got touched my wife, so <laughs> and I'm looking at the baby monitor. I agree. Uh, this is a great. This is a great comic. Um, I the I, it's a great comic. It's a great comic. And Matt outdoes himself again. So for this week's mini app, 
Vlad Grendel. Keep on Grendling. Keep on Grendling.